Um, was this every report? Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. All right, guys. So again, man, I, I actually had a, a chance to uh, actually meet Bryce before he became the world renowned Bryce. I remember a, a couple years ago, back in 20, 2018, when, when Bryce wasn't the Bryce Thompson that we all know today. And he was somebody that was humble. He was a student. And he was looking to grow. He was looking to go to the next level. Me and Bryce had a conversation. And, man, since then, he's just been taken off uh, at a level that nobody in this industry have seen. I tell people all the time, we get spoiled um, in IML because we get exposed to so much success. But in other companies, guys, it's not, it's not that much success happening at the rate that success is happening in our company. And we're blessed to be able to rub shoulders with people like David, brand new chairman, 750. Let's make some noise for David, brand new chairman. <laughs> Matt Rose and Jason Brown, Alex Moore, and all the success um, that we're experiencing. And before, you know, people used to think that ranks like that were reserved for people that had been in the company for a long period of time. But we just watched Bryce come in and literally in about maybe, I don't know, I don't want to long, long, long ball him, but maybe 10, 12 months, 16 months, something like that. He went from Chairman 10 all the way to what used to be the top of the comp plan, Chairman 500. So I'm extremely excited to have my bro Bryce Thompson on the line tonight to give us value on how we can win chairmanships, just how he has been able to win multiple, multiple chairmanships, over 50 chairmen inside of his organization. So fam, let's make some noise for Bryce Thompson as you come onto the line. Let's get it. So Bryce, I'm about to find you, bro. Unmute you. And the floor is yours, my brother. Take us away. Boom, there we go, there we go. Can everybody see and hear me clearly? Let me see the TV behind you. Turn me down. Let me you see good, the TV behind you. Let me make sure. Okay, cool. So everybody can see me. <laughs> um, I, you know, I appreciate it, man. It, it's a blessing to even be, be on this call right now. It's, you know, it's, it's funny that, that, you know, me and Ria are even doing a call together. I think I'm, this may be our first time ever doing a call together. So this is just kind of like a full circle moment. You know, the story he told you, uh, you know, a few years back, you know, I was a platinum 5,000. And he can tell you, I came in his house just, like, frustrated, like, upset because I'm like, man, I'm ready to I'm ready to hit chairman. I'm ready to go, right? And I, I, I remember reaching out to him on Instagram, not even knowing if he would respond to my DM. I think I had, like, <laughs> I think I had, like, 2,000 followers on, on Instagram at the time, 2,000, 3,000 followers on Instagram. And, you know, Riyadh had like 30,000 plus. So, you know, when you see somebody that got a K, it's like, dang, are they going to see my DM? Are they? I know they're getting a bunch of DMs. So it's like I, I, reached, out, I reached out to him on Instagram, and, and fair enough, he not only DM'd me back, you know, he actually gave me his number, right? He gave me his personal number, didn't even know who I was, never met me in person, but he was willing to give me his number. And not only was he willing to give me, give me his number, he even offered for me to come to his house. Right. He offered for me to come to his house. And I'm I'm just you know, I'm still to this day. I just can't I can't explain, you know, I can't explain like the, the, the amount of just generosity and love, you know, that was shown to me, you know, just just by Riyadh, just from Riyadh. And, and I'm gonna be honest, that was a significant moment, uh, you know, for me, not only in my business, but just me as a person, because at the time I had you know, I, I didn't have direct contact to a, a chairman, right? I was a platinum 5,000. Um, the, the closest chairman that I had, you know, direct uh, contact with was Dr. Spiller. And Dr. Spiller was way in Houston. You know, I was living in uh, Greensboro at the time, back and forth from Greensboro to Atlanta. And yeah, I hadn't even, I met David as, at platinum 2000, but I don't even think I had his direct number at the time. I was a platinum 5,000. So when I when I seen Riyadh and I came to his crib, it was like, I'm in a chairman's crib right now. <laughs> like, I'm in a chairman's house. I'm a platinum five dollar. Like, he let me come to his house. Like, I'm, I'm looking at him on Instagram, and it's like, now nah, I get to meet him in person. And not only do I get to meet him in person, but he's actually telling me things that can help me get to the next level. So this is just a, I'm going to be honest, this is just a full circle moment, and I'm, I'm blessed to be here. And everybody that's on this call right now, you're, you're, you're even more blessed just to even have him as a mentor because – you know, I look at it like his mentorship has helped me to in some way, shape or form to get to where I'm at. So just think about that. Right. Think about really look at what you have and don't take it for granted, because what you have right right in front of you. Right. Somebody else's trash might be another man's treasure. Right. What you take for granted, somebody may actually take 
full advantage of and really get to the next level, right? So super duper blessed, not only me, but all of you. Um, you know, I, I'll talk about a few things. Of course, I can, you know, kind of touch into, I already kind of touched into my personal story of, you know, how I've gotten to where I am. Um, but, you know, I, I do want to talk about a few things that I want everybody to, to take into account. And <clears throat> I did a training last night. So this is going to be pretty easy for me because I'm going to just talk about some of the things that I talked about last night. And one of those things is I said, you know, people, people in this business and people just in general, people don't want to be managed, right? People don't want to be managed. They want to be led, right? So, and I think a lot of times I, you know, I, I see people that really want to get to the next level, like mentors or, you know, people at Platinum 1000, Platinum 600, Platinum 2000. They do a lot of managing and you may be, you may be guilty of it yourself because I've been guilty of it, right? You do a lot of managing where you're hitting people up, right? You're hitting some of your leaders up. How many calls did you do today? Did you get on this training? Did you get on a prospect call? Did you do this, that, or the third? And you're, you're, you're looking to see if they're doing what it takes, right? You're looking to see if, if they're doing, you know, all of the necessary things that's going to help them get to the next, get to the next level or, or anything that you may have told them that's going to get them to the next level. I'm here to tell you, and this is just the way that I personally look at it. Nobody, nobody had to tell me to do that, right? Nobody had to tell me to get on trainings. Nobody had to tell me to, to put posts about my business in an in insane amount of times, right? Nobody had to tell me to, to present my business to other people, right? Nobody had to manage me. It is what it is. So if nobody had to do that for me and I've been able to get the, to the levels of success that I've gotten, why would I do that to somebody else? It, you know, it is what it is. People want to be led, right? I can lead by example. I've left a trail for other people to follow, right? I've left the trail for other people to follow and I'm leading by, I'm giving people an example to follow. I don't, I shouldn't have to manage people to do what it takes to get to where they want to go. If you really want to get to where you want to go, you don't need to be managed. You just need to be led, right? You just need an example to follow. You just need somebody to show you that it's possible, right? Nobody had to do that for me. And I, I, I've said it all the time. Like, you, you, you don't want to go through the motions of the business. You want to put your business in motion. You, you know, going through the motions is not necessarily what it's going to take for you to really win. I tell, you know, I've, I've tell my, my specific organization, we've been saying this for the last three years, you want to post 10 times a day. That doesn't necessarily mean literally post 10 times a day about your business. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10 times I posted. I'm done. I did it. No, I've never counted how many times I post. I just posted. I know I posted an insane amount of times, probably at least 10 times a day. That's just a numerical standard that I give people to show them, look, this is probably what it takes. But by people looking at that and saying, hey, you know what? Let me post 10 times. Okay, I posted my 10 times, right? I've done all that it takes, right? Oh, oh, Bryce said I need to get on all of these trainings. Bryce said, hey, you know what? You should be doing this, this, that, and the third. Bryce said, hey, you, knew, you, you need to be calling your leaders and people in your business each and every single day. I've did all of that. That's what it takes. Look, I've had people that I've talked to and said, hey, they, well, they've talked to me and said, hey, you know what? I've been in this business for three years. I'm a plat I've been a Platinum 1000 for the last two years. And I'm, I'm like, what? How? What? And they're like, hey, I've been doing everything that it takes. Right? I just don't know why my business isn't moving. Right? I've been doing the calls. I've been getting on the trainings. I've been doing the presentations. I've been hosting the events. I've been doing this, that, or the third. And I really look at it and it's like, you're probably, look, you're probably going through the motions of the business and not necessarily putting your business in motion. There may not be, look, you may be doing all of the necessary things that it takes, but what are you actually doing? If that makes any sense. Look, drop, drop a seven in the chat if you feel like you're efficient. Drop a seven in the chat. If you feel like you're efficient, let's just be honest. I think I'm efficient, right? Drop a seven in the chat. If you drop a seven in the chat, if you're getting on all of the trainings. Drop a seven in the chat if you're talking to the people on your team. 
Drop a seven in the chat if, you, if you're doing presentations, right? If you've done events. I'm sure all of us, right? Drop a seven in the chat if you feel like you're productive each and every single day as far as your business is concerned. I'm sure that's all of us. I could drop a seven right now because I think that's me as well. I think I'm super duper efficient. But I'm here to tell you efficiency is not enough. It's not. It, for everybody listening, efficiency is not enough. You getting on the trainings, right? You talking to your team, it's not enough. I don't care that you talked, you talked to 10, 20, 30 people in your business today. It doesn't matter yet. What matters is what was being said during those phone calls. Because one person can have three conversations and get a lot more done than the person that had 30 because they actually added value, right? Those conversations were of substance. Those, those conversations actually had quality. It's quality over quantity. Actually, it's quality and quantity. Yes, I want to be putting in the work, but I want to make sure that I put in valuable work. And what is it going to take for me to put in valuable work? Okay, repetition. Okay, actually listening to people that have the results that I want. Actually being humble enough to learn, even if I'm in a place where I'm not, I wasn't two years ago. Look, efficiency is the foundation for survival. It's the, efficiency is the foundation for survival. Effectiveness is the foundation for success. So yes, you can be efficient, but are you effective? Yes, you can do 10 calls a day, but what's being said on those calls, right? Are you actually looking to build relationships? You call, you call everybody within your business, within your group. Look, utilize the first 10 to 15 minutes to get to know that person. I don't wanna just talk to you about the business, Look, my, the, the top leaders specifically within my organization, we don't just have a business relationship. I know them. And I'm, if I really look at it, maybe, just maybe, that's one of the more significant reasons why we've gotten as successful as we are. That maybe that's one of the significant reasons that we can work well together because we don't just have a business relationship. I like you. I love you. I know you. So, I, hold on. Sorry, I was gonna call. So look, I, I want everybody, to, it's, it's effectiveness over efficiency. I want you to be brushing up on your craft. I want you to be getting better. Of course, of course, do more. Of course, do more trainings. Of course, do more calls, right? But what conversation are you having with yourself in the shower? Because I'll tell you what I'm talking about in the shower. I'm doing a training with myself just like this while I'm in the shower all the time. I'm talking to my shower head. I used to sing songs, but now I do trainings. I used to sing songs, acting like I'm Usher in the shower. Yeah, I used to be that guy, but now I'm doing trainings. I'm, I'm doing trainings with myself because I know I want to brush up on my craft. I want to be able to make sure that when I deliver this information to somebody, it's like I've, I've already done it before. I, I want people to be like, you sure you haven't done this before, Bryce? Well, yeah, in my shower last night, technically. You know, it is what it is. I'm not scripted. So, look, um, the you know the the one of the one of the last things I want to talk about, man, is it's, it's so much it's so much that has happened in my life over the last three years, and um, you know, I I just encourage everybody. Like I, I've seen so many people come and go, um, and I I can't even imagine how many 
how many people I, I've exposed this business to, right? You know, I, I tell people, it's not about the amount of people you enroll. It's about the amount of people you expose, right? Because if I expose more people, the likelihood of me finding that leader that's going to put thousands of people in my business, it just gets higher. Right? I was talking to somebody today and, you know, they were saying, you know, I'm, I'm at Platinum 1000. I have 30 people. I'm like, hold on, you're a Platinum 1000. You have exactly 30 people in your business. That means, you look, you can't afford to lose one person. You can't afford, <laughs> you can't afford to lose one person. And they're like, you know, they, they, was, they were telling me, like, I'm trying to, you know, make sure I, I, I get my leaders to really, you know, develop that mindset of wanting to build the business. And I'm like, well, damn. Um, well, right now, you need, to, you need to actually take it as far as attracting more leaders exposed like really you know positioning more lead you need to take it a little bit more serious right because they were like you know i feel i don't know if i should you know be prospecting i'm like yes you should right because you know the people that you have in your business right now that may not be the same people the, look the leader the top leaders that you have in your business right now unfortunately that may not even be the top leaders that you have when you become a chairman or when you become a chairman 25 or chairman 50, you may have a whole new set of leaders that you're talking to on a day-to-day -day basis. It's business. It's life, right? The, the, the friends and the, the, the people I kicked it with when I was in high school, I don't even kick it with them no more. I'm thinking we're going to kick it for the rest of our lives. It's, it's, it's life, right? So as you're developing and these people aren't developing with you, right, they may fall behind. But you need to make sure that you're always exposing more people, right? Because the likelihood of you finding another you, right? The likelihood of you finding another leader that wants this more than you do, it just rises. So if I know, look, I need 500 people in my business to reach chairman, I need to expose tens of thousands. I need to expose tens of thousands. I think about all of the one-on-one -on -one conversations, all of the, uh, I don't know, events of five, 10, 15, 20, 500 thousands of people. I've, done. I've exposed a lot of different people. And where I am is just a byproduct of all of the people that I've exposed to what I do. So if you know, Look, and I, I hear this a lot. A lot of people say, I feel like I've talked to everybody. I feel like I've, I, I've talked to all of my, friend, my family. I've talked to all of my friends, right? I've reached, I made a list of 100 people, right? I, I've called everybody in my phone book. All of the people that you know right now, right? All of the people that you know right now at this moment won't be all of the people that you know when you're making multi-millions. You're gonna know a lot more people, right? I look at all the people I know, I know a lot of people. Way more people than I knew when I was broke. Like a lot, like a lot. So by me knowing that, me knowing, hey, I'm, I'm gonna know a lot more people when I'm making multi-millions, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm going to go meet more people. I'm gonna go talk to more people. I'm going to go expose more people to what I do. Simple. You got to take it serious and say, hey, you know what? I'm not going to go to sleep tonight, tomorrow. I'm not going to go to sleep until I've exposed at least 10 new people. Not enrolled, exposed. I'm not going to go to sleep until I got at least one new person on this prospect or 10 more 10 new people in front of this information i'm not going to go to sleep and if you do go to sleep right or if you haven't exposed 10 people and you get a little tired right make a goal make a goal before you close your eyes at night and say hey you know what when i wake up in the morning i'm not going to go to sleep again until I expose 10 people. You should already know what you need to do for the next day. You should already have a goal set 
of what you need to do tomorrow before you close your eyes. Because when you make a goal before you go to sleep, you wake up with a purpose. And you wake up a lot earlier. You do. Because now you got work to do. You got people to show this to. You got people to, you got lives to change when I wake up. Tomorrow I got to expose 10 more people. That's 10 new people that could potentially be a millionaire one day because I woke up. Sorry, I was going to call. That's 10 new people that could potentially be a millionaire because I decided to wake up with a purpose today. And just in conjunction with setting goals, right, just in conjunction with setting goals, I want to talk about a few things before I even talk about that. Um, last, last, last few things. <clears throat> I, I want everybody to, you know, drop a, drop a three. Drop a, drop a, look, actually drop a one in the chat. Or better yet, drop a two in the chat if you've been in this business less than two years. Drop a two. Is the chat off? Somebody turned it off? Oh, it's back on, I think. Drop a two in the chat if you've been in the business less than two years. I don't know if it's off or on. Cool, it's off. I think we, oh, we maxed out a thousand. All right, cool. Is it on or is it off? It's on. So look, drop a two in the chat if you've been in the business less than two years. Okay, cool. That's a lot of people. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Drop a one in the chat if you've been in the business less than a year. That's a lot of ones. That's a lot of ones. Now, you know, I... I want to say this, everybody that's on this call right now, I personally, I personally will want to see you give this at least three years, right? At least three years, because most of you and most of us, we've given college or a job three years, right? We've probably given a job or college of three, three years, at least three years, and most of us probably are not working that job that we gave three years to at least right and a lot of us are not in school right now or we graduated and we gave that college or that institution at least three years i'm saying give this three years just as if you would give that job three years just like you gave school that three years or just like you gave that girl three years that you no longer with or that man three years that you no longer with right because you giving this three years can set you and your family up for the rest of y'all's lives. Don't, don't let one year turn you away. Don't let one year turn your way. Don't even let two years turn your way. Look, my first year, my first year in this business, my first year in this business, I did not even make $10,000. I did not even make $10,000 my first year. I've heard worse stories than that. My first year in this business, I did not even make 10,000. My second year in this business, I had a better year. I made, I made like 70,000, 70, pretty good, 70,000. My third year in this business, I made 1.4 million. If I would have let year one deter me away from year two, I would have never even, I couldn't even fathom year three. It would have, that would have never made sense to me. I need three years. In, in, in addition to those three years, I need you to set your goals a lot higher. You got short-term goals? Look, 
My short-term goals is me waking up tomorrow and exposing 10 people. That's my short-term goals. My long-term goals, I want to help at least 200, chair, 200 people reach chairman by the end of the year. What's your long-term goal? Your long-term goal may say, hey, you know what? I want to be chairman, chairman 10 by the end of this year, right? Or I want to be a chairman 100 by the end of this year. Does the numbers add up? Maybe not. Who cares? The beginning of 2019, I was the only chairman in our group. The only one. I put, a, I put my goal on Instagram. The video is still there. You can go on my page. I said, hey, I want to help at least 20 to 30 chairmen. 20 to 30 people reach chairman by the end of this year. I was the only one when I set that goal. At the beginning of 2019, last year. 20 to 30? Bryce, what the hell? You're the only one. You talking hot, bro. By September of that year, we had well over 30 chairmen. Well over. By September, we didn't even have to get to December to, to, to surpass the goal that I set when I was the only one. But I said it. I said, hey, look, beginning of 2019, I was making 10 grand a month. I said, hey, I want to make, I want to make at least 1.2 million this year. I'm making 10 grand a month. 10 grand times 12, that's 120,000. Bryce, that doesn't add up. How the hell are you going to make a million? Well, I'm going to put it on my mirror anyway and look at it every day. And if you think I'm crazy when you walk in my bathroom, when you pull up to my house, who cares? That's my goal. I don't care if you see it. Because you're not going to see my goals the way I see my goals. Because it makes perfect sense. In my head, the numbers add up in my head. Forget how they add up in yours. Boom, 1.4 million. Chairman 10 to Chairman 250, in, in, all in 2019. How? I Look, I said it. I threw it out into the universe. I set my goals high. I had my unrealistic goals, and I had my short-term goals that every single day I waked up, I tried to achieve them. Boom. Run the play. Ria was at that. Uh, he spoke at that event. We both spoke at the event. Beginning of this year. Literally, nowhere, nowhere near Chairman 500. For the first time, they put me on stage and asked me my Chairman 500 day. I said, July 2nd, my birthday. It's still not even July 2nd. But I threw it out there for everybody to hear it. Look, man, set your goals high. Set your goals up. Look, people don't like to be managed. They like to be led. Effectiveness over efficiency. Yes, be productive. Yes, get on calls. Yes, do more. Yes, talk to people more. Yes, do more, more and more presentations. But get better more than anything. Work harder and work smarter. Don't let year one or month one or month three dictate what's going to happen for you over the next three years. I promise you, if you go all in, if you give each and every single day quality and value for the next 18 months, you'll never have to worry about money again. For the next 18 months from today. It's all up to you. But look, I appreciate everybody for listening to me. You know, Ria, bro, like I said, I'm, I'm truly blessed to, to even have you as a friend, a mentor, big brother, bro. Like, I'm, you know, I'm going to be honest, bro. Like, I, people like you don't come around too often, right? You know, I, I still don't. I still can't even process you responding to my DM, giving me your personal number, and then letting me come to your house. You know, it, it just still doesn't make sense to me.
but you did, bro. And I, <laughs> I'm truly grateful for it. And I always, you know, think about that experience as being one of the most significant reasons I'm in the position that I'm in today. So I want to pass it over to you to close it out again. I appreciate y'all for listening to me. I'll see y'all at the top. Awesome. Yo, Bryce, real quick, man, before you hop off the line, I just want to ask you one question. I know you're busy about to make some calls and do some running. Uh, but, Bryce, take us back to you uh, being, you know, stuck at Platinum 5000 or what we thought was being stuck at Platinum 5000. Uh, take us through your mentality and the concept of one away, which you talk about all the time. There we go. There we go. Who sees? Oh, uh, man. Um, yeah, Platinum 5000. I can I can briefly kind of go through, uh, you know, a little story I've given before. Um, but, you know, pretty crazy, actually. Well, not really that crazy. Um, I, you know, I was a Platinum 5000. This was already after I had I had met with Riyadh at his house. Um, you know, and I, I was still at that place was like, you know, I really need this. Like platinum, I was platinum five thousand for pretty much almost a year. Like I was at platinum five thousand for almost a year. I actually lost platinum five thousand, dropped back down to platinum two thousand, got it back, all in the span of that year that I sat at that rank, and it was annoying. I was frustrated. I was I stressed myself out. I locked myself in my room, you know, all the time, literally just doing trainings and calls, trying to figure out how to get to the next level, doing giveaways, right? Um, and, you know, yeah, it, it's funny. I moved to I moved to Greensboro to go to school at North Carolina a and in the fall. I had got Platinum 5000 back. And I remember back in January, January of 2018, I did an event, right? I did an event at UGA, University of Georgia. And it was like less than, it was less than like 15 people in the room. And I remember I was just doing a favor for somebody. It wasn't even my event. I didn't even put the event together. I was just doing a favor for somebody. And I was willing to do it, even though I was driving an hour out to do an event. I was willing to do it just because I wanted to perfect my craft. I wanted to get good at presenting the information. So it's like, this is another opportunity for me to present the information. I love doing this. Let me do it. Boom. I'm going to drive an hour, do a presentation, even if it doesn't benefit me. I decided to call my line brother. I'm a capital. I decided to call my line brother and I said, look, hey, is there any Kappas? You know any Kappas at UGA? He's like, yeah, I know one. I was like, all right, cool. I'm about to do an event. I'm about to do a presentation at UGA. You reach out to him and tell him to pull up and, and you know, listen to, listen to the information. So, you know, I, I get to the event, less than 20 people in the room. Um, the guy that my line brother reached out to wasn't even in the room. <laughs> and he came in like halfway through. Right. And he came up to me after the presentation. He was like, I like what I heard. I want to enroll. He ended up enrolling like within the next 24 hours. Right. Enrolled next 24 hours. The first eight months. Right. I was, you know, I, I had hit platinum 5000, lost it, got it back. All within that eight month period of him being in the business, we get to what? September. Right. August, September. He hadn't put anybody in the business. He didn't. He didn't put not one person in the business. He was making money trading, right? He was getting withdrawals. He didn't do anything. And I remember reaching out to him later that year. I was in Greensboro, uh, North Carolina now. And I said, look, I'm, I'm close to chairman, right? I'm close to chairman. Like, you sure you don't want to like this? This is the time now more than ever to really take this serious, bro. I'm about to be a chairman after all of this time, finally. And I remember him saying, okay, cool. Like, you know, I can, I can get you on a, I can get you on a call with a few people I know tomorrow. I'm like, bro, after eight months, now you magically know a few people that's interested. Cool. So I'm driving back from Greensboro, right? I'm driving back from Greensboro to, well, I'm driving back from Atlanta to Greensboro because I got class in the morning, right? And I was just going back from Atlanta to Greensboro, like a four hour drive. And he said, look, I got seven people. I can get you on the call right now on a Zoom. Pull over to a gas station at like 2 a.m. I got class in the morning, 2 a.m. 
do a presentation on Zoom just like this for like seven people. Seven people. Eight months later. Doesn't make I just wanted, I was that close to chairman and I, I just wanted it. I was like 50, maybe 50 or 100 people away. Get on the call. Um, you know, I, I remember it being a pretty good presentation. I had done so many up until that point. I was at a gas station in my car. It is what it is. But it's funny, somebody on that call was named Adu, right? He was named Adu, right? Adu. Adu. He literally told me, he was like, yo, if I'm, well, let me draw back. A dude ends up making like a thousand dollars or a couple, like a couple hundred dollars his first week or two. And he says, look, if this, if I withdraw this and this hits my bank account, I'm going to, I'm literally going to put the whole world, I'm going to put my whole school on. I remember him saying that on the phone. I was kind of annoyed because I'm like, bro, you still don't think that it's real? It's going to hit your account, bro, if you withdraw it. Like it's, you're still skeptical. And he was, I was like that too. When I first came into business, money hits his account. He goes platinum 600 in like his first two, three days, right. Of actually exposing people to the business. I'm super excited. Cause it's like, you get somebody go platinum 600 in their first two or three days. You might have a winner. Right. So funny thing is what, not even a year later, not even a year. A little over a year later, he hits Chairman 50. So James, I it's, it's just funny. James, let's let's just draw back. James, the person I met in January, right, at UGA, right, that I wouldn't even an event that I wasn't even supposed to be doing, that wasn't for me, doesn't do anything for his first eight months, gets me on a call with seven people in the middle of the night at a gas station. One of those people is named Adu, and Adu puts in over 3,000 people into my organization within the next 12 months. He goes Chairman 50, I go Chairman 2, or he goes Chairman 25, I'm Chairman 100, hit Chairman 250, now he's a Chairman 100. He's a chairman of 100 now. And he hasn't even, he hasn't even been in the business two years. This happened in November of 2018. This hasn't even been a full two years. So in a year and a half, Adu goes chairman of 100. And I remember being super stressed out all the way to the point where it's like, I'm going to pull over to this gas station at 2 a.m. in the middle of the night to do this call for seven people because I'm platinum 5,000. I'm tired of being here. I'm, 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 I'm ready to get to the next level. Not even two years later, that person that was on that call that I did it in the middle of the night at a gas station is a chairman of hundred. And we, you know, we, we literally putting up numbers like it's like it's nothing at this point. So I say all that to say, you always one person away literally always one person away that presentation that you take off that one conversation that do, that you decide not to have may be the one conversation that you're gonna have that's gonna put two three thousand four thousand five thousand people in your organization so knowing that this is why i say it's not about the people in your role it's about the number of people you expose the more people you expose the likelihood of you finding that person you having that conversation is a whole lot higher. You just gotta be willing to do it. And I promise it's gonna happen. But I'm gonna pass it back over to you, uh, Rhea. Sheesh, Bryce, last question, bro. And we're gonna get you up out of here. I promise, this is the last one. This is, cause this is, I watched you, bro. I watched you the whole entire journey. And one thing that I've always taken away from you was your humility. I'm about to unmute you in a second. I see you muted again. But uh, I remember, when you, when you was about to hit chairman, you text me and you was like, bro, who makes the chairman flyer? And I was like, I forgot what I told you. And you was like, well, how do I get all my boys on there with me? I'm thinking like, I ain't never heard nobody say that before. Never. And I'm like, bro, you should just put yourself on there because you're the one that earned that. You did that. But I recognize the humility and how you've always been a team player from the beginning. So just walk us through why humility 
is so important, especially as you move up the ranks of the compensation plan. I'm about to unmute you now, bro. Perfect. Yeah. Now it's funny that you say that because I don't even remember texting you that. You got if you can find that text message, definitely send that to me because it's like I know I said it because it definitely sounds like something I would say. Cause I probably did want to do that. Um, but that's that's crazy. Uh, you know, I, I would say <clears throat> you know, I, I don't I don't even think, you know, humility is something that's taught. Um I, I think it's something that's just developed. And, you know, I, I would say, you know, the more the, the more humble you can stay, the more uncomfortable you're going to always be in the situations that you are. Because it's like, or, or better yet, the less comfortable you are in the situation that you're in, the more humble you can be. Uh, you know, I, even, me, even in the, you know, position that I'm in today, you know, I continue to stretch my mind. I, you know, I continue to, you know, talk to people like David, people that have made a whole lot more money than me that have done 10 times as much as I've done, you know, because it allows me to just stay grounded and understand that there's so much more to do. I think humility is, is, is super duper important because you're never going to, you're going to always feel like you're built for more. And you're going to always feel like, you know, there, there's more, there's more that you can do. You're never going to be content with the situation that you're in. All right, because the moment that you, you know, the moment that you lack humility, it's easy to get one, get comfortable and stay right in the same place that you're in. God has a funny way of humbling people, man. I, I, I honestly and truly believe that. And I, I think I think the, the person that, you know, I've always heard this, the, the humblest calf drinks the most milk. Right. And, you know, I will say God puts different people in different situations for certain reasons. And me being me being humble and me continuing to stay grounded, I just feel like I'm just proving God right, right? I feel like, you know, he chose me to be in this position for a certain reason, and I'm just, I'm continuing to stay humble and I'm continuing to push forward and help everybody else because I want to prove that he chose the right person, right? So if you feel like, you know, if you feel like you're the person to, to, to have all of these, you know, crazy amounts of success, right? You got to not only prove it to yourself and to everybody else, right? But prove God right, God, prove God's right for choosing you, right? To be that person at some point, right? Because he's already chosen you. You just got to come into the person that he wants you to be so you can be ready for it, right? And show him that you're ready for it. So, um, yeah, like, you know, like I said, that's, that's probably one of the, the biggest attributes that any, anybody can have. Because I will say, you know, making a, making a lot of money, it, you know, it doesn't change you. It just makes you more of who you are. And if you want more to come in, you got to leave space for it, right? And for you to leave space for it, you got to be as humble as you possibly can. So, yeah, Ria, I'm going I'm to pass it back over to you, bro. It's lit. Man, let's drop some fire in the chat box for Bryce Thompson, Chairman 500. For those that, are, that may be guests and don't understand what Chairman 500 is, that's a half a million dollars per month in income. And you just heard his story. You heard how he did it. He did it with so much love, grace, and humility. And I'm super excited to call Bryce a friend, call him a bro, and I'm excited for his future. So like I, got, like I always say, guys, I'm not the one to overcook the grits ever. Bryce laid it out for us. So what we about to do, my boy's about to drop this song. We're about to vibe out in Nashville. And I will see you guys at the bank. Let's get it. Turn me up, bro. Turn me up, bro. Turn me up, bro. Good call, guys. I love you all. See y'all at the bank. Whenever my bro can drop the music. Oh, he's tripping on the music. He's tripping on the music. Oh, man. Wow. Get money. Get money. Get money. Get money. Get money. I'm getting money. I'm getting money. I'm getting money. Get money, get money, get money, get money, I'm getting money. There we go. Let's go, turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up. Turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up. Turn up, turn up, turn up. Got more ice in the skate here, ring.
Hey, 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 hey. All right, guys. Have a good night. I love you all. See you in the bank. Let's get it. Let's have a great week.